Hey yo, what's up? What's good guys? Today I'm back with another video and um, I'm sorry my voice is kind of deep and messed up and scratchy. That's because I haven't been feeling too well the past couple days. I mean, my nose has been stuffy and stuff, but whatever. Today is not about me. Today is about Pokemon Go. As you can see here, I have a Pokemon Go sniper. Uh, sniper. Well, this isn't actually a sniper. See this? This is an actual sniper. See this? This is Hack Pokemon Go. I'm going to be teaching you how to get Hack Pokemon Go and how to get a bot so you can use a PTC uh, account, which is Pokemon Trainer Club account. It only, Sadly, this bot only works with PTC, so it doesn't work with Google if you originally use Google. But you can just make a new account, and it's still it's it's even it's even more fun. It's it's literally you, you start all over again. So you don't actually start all over again. Your Google account still stays the same. It's just whatever. I'll explain it along the way. So basically, in order to get uh, <clears throat> the hack Pokemon Go, you want to go you want to go into two two app dot com. Once you go into there, you go into the regular uh, version only, and you click here, the big green button, you click install. Once you go home to the home button, it's, it installs. Okay, so uh, I, ha I already have it, what's called trusted. But basically, what you need to do if a little a box will come up saying, "Um, developer untrusted, whatever." No, nobody, nobody gives. Okay, and so basically, you're gonna go to your general and to your profiles and management. Then you want to go here to the middle one or to whatever if you don't have any. I don't know. And uh, you want to click verify or trust to uh Ying Chang Han Tai real estate company whatever okay and once you do that you want to get out and then you want to go here you want to swipe four times and then you'll click the button in the middle once you do that you go here to the search bar and you put in as you can see I already looked it up you turn you put in alpha tournaments and you'll see this uh like soccer thing you're probably like oh how the you know like how is this pokemon go well if you download it you click this green button and then you and then you click install for pokemon go and then this and then it'll come up as a soccer app but when it's done loading it'll come up as pokemon go so you want to open up pokemon go and basically you want to go into your google and everything and yeah so it's basically a tap to walk and you can teleport there's a home that's full of pokestops and you can change your speed at which you walk and you can search for pokemon around you okay so that's that that's how you get the hack pokemon go and then now i'm making this video because i just found out about this bot and it is really really cool but it's probably gonna get taken down from the app store like but maybe it could get taken down anytime but it's actually kind of hard to get taken down because it's put down as pokemon sniper but it's a bot so okay so you want to search up poke snipers basically then this will come up it'll it's a pokey sniper best safe and useful to whatever and you click you, you click on it you click install or download depending on if you have app the app store or android yeah android or ios i'm pretty sure it works with both i don't know but i'm doing it for ios so it's best uh for ios i guess i don't know and once you do that you get out you can go into here and basically, if you don't already have one, you have to make a Pokemon Trainer, um, a Pokemon Trainer account, uh, which is a PTC, which is Pokemon Trainer Club. You have to make a Pokemon Trainer Club account. Once you do that, you go to the website. I'll show you. You go here. You go po 
Pokemon Trainer Club. You click on here. Um, you can go to the create your account. I just went to Pokemon Trainer Club. Com. and then you see where he says sign in you go down and you click create account and then you put in all of your details not all of your details you put in your date of birth and then if you put continue then you put in your email and then you click continue and you put in a username a password and you verify your email and you're done with the account um, <clears throat> Now this Poke Snipers app, it's really good. It's very accurate. It shows you all like rare Pokemon. If you go here, you can click on special. It'll show you like very rare. It'll show you rare. It'll show you uncommon, and it'll show you all of the Pokemon that are available. Okay. So in order to get that, you just want to go to the App Store. You want to search. Now here you put in Poke. With no space, snipers. There you go. And then you click, click on it, and you click download, get, install, whatever. And yeah. So basically, how this bot works is you want. So it shows you all the Pokemon that you've caught. See, I've caught pretty well Pokemon. That's because they have a live sniper with 90 IV plus. Yes, they have really rare. Here, here look. Oh look, let me see this magic carp here. Boom, caught it first try, even though it was highly unlikely that I would have. Star Rayu. Boom, caught it first try. It's it's really cool. It can you can catch super rare Pokemon. And it'll you can it'll show you nearby places and stuff. So here I'll catch this Pidgey. And I'll rotate these Poke stops. So yeah. So basically, oh let's say you're in an area where uh, well, there's nothing. You live in the middle of bum bumfrick nowhere, and you just uh, yeah. So you click on this map here, and the place I recommend if is you go. I'll show you. Let's say you live in Florida. You live in Fort Lauderdale. Basically, zoom all the way out. Until you can basically see the whole of North America, part, partially South America. Then, you want to go here, you want to go to California. And if you don't know where that is, it's all the way to the left side of the United States. Bottom left. Okay. Then you want to go to San Francisco, which it'll say it in, like, in the middle of California. And then you want to zoom in until you see here, until you see this, and then you see this little bulge point right here so you want to keep on going in and going in and going in and so you see all these like things that are popping out those, those are all peers but that's not really where you want to go because they can't you can't really tell if there's a lot of pokestops there this is the only one i've actually found out and tested out you can test out your own if you want but this is the one that i found the best which has three pokestops available i'm going to go here this place is called fisherman's wharf and you want to go here you keep going in you keep going in until you see these two buildings once you see these two buildings and you see this road right here then you want to keep on going in as far as you can and you want to go basically to like this general standpoint area this little one where my uh, red point there is and it'll teleport you there and let's say it, you can't catch any nearby Pokemon that's probably because you're soft banned. So basically, what you wanna, what you, what you want to do is you want to go to nearby Poke Stops, and you want to rotate, and you want to keep on rotating it until it says that you have earned a certain amount of XP or the items. And it usually doesn't give you a revise or anything else. It just gives you um, Pokeballs because that's really the only thing that's useful. It literally hacks the Poke Stop for you. And it's really cool and it's really awesome. And uh, so, uh, yeah, this is basically just a really cool overall app. It's cheating. It's not, I'd recommend you probably just play it how you're supposed to. And and not even use really the hacked version. I just did it so I could catch all the Pokemon and be like, woohoo, I, I caught all the Pokemon. You, you can go die, okay? Okay, so 
yeah, so like basically, I've had this for a while, and the Pokédex is uh, pretty filled. So, I'll give you a little quick tutorial on how to use this too. Okay, so, let's say you want to teleport. You find the coordinates, latitude, uh, latitude and longitude, and... Uh, Basically, what I recommend doing if you want to catch your Pokemon is you go to the first ones, which is they're all the same, and you click on the first one. And if it's your first time doing this, then you don't even have to worry. You won't be soft banned. But just in case you want to check and spin a Pokestop, and and if it, it let's say you are soft banned for no apparent reason, which I don't know why, if it's your first time. Then you want to spin it, get out, uh, you want to go in, kind of ro rotate it, oh, here I'll give you an example, let's see, you want to go in, you usually want to rotate it, get out, go in, rotate it, and you want to do that 40 times, and, and yeah, it has to be an open one obviously, so once you get near one, and it gets open, then you spin it, get out and you do that 40 times and basically once you're basically in here which is the coordinates I just told you which was the f if you click here select it's the first one the basically what you're gonna do is you could use the focus snipers app I'll give you an example here you see this Dratini if you just click on it it copies the coordinates so you click paste then what you do is you select all then you go until you to the second n pair of numbers, not the comma, but just the second pair of numbers. You click copy, then you paste, and you take all of this away, it, just until the comma, and you take off the comma. And then you click OK, then you click move. Now this Pokemon won't spawn in immediately, and if it doesn't spawn in at, at all, it, which it should, so let's wait. <coughs> Uh, okay, it looks like this one wasn't really up to date. So what you want to do is you don't want to move at all. Once you get to the area, you do not want to move at all. That will soft bend you, and you are screwed. So what you do is you want to go to select, you want to click here, and you want to click OK. And once you do that, basically it'll act as if you never went anywhere and you're st you were still in the same spot, stationary. Just to prove to you that I'm not soft banned, and this method does work. And hopefully it does, it should. Um, yes, it works. See? So let me try with another Pokemon just to prove to you guys that it does work. Okay, so that the coordinates were copied. Right. You know what? That's why it's not working. There we go. Oh, oh look, a golem. Okay. Then you want to teleport, paste, do the same exact method. Copy, paste, move, and there appears to be a golem in the sightings. Uh, oh, there it is. Then you want to, uh, what you want to do is you click teleport, and then you go back to where you were. And boom, it'll act as if you were never, you have never left. And I'll try catching it. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, that Pokemon is just a complete dick, so. Yeah. Right, so, just to, to not soft band. here and I'm not soft banned I even got items so uh, basically there is this uh, teleport home which is basically what will happen when you open the app that'll be the home area so basically yeah, um, this is just hack Pokemon go the Pokemon go bots and yeah thanks for watching
like, subscribe, comment, whatever, screw it, the whole shebang. And before I end the video, I know I haven't been uploading lately. I just really wanted to upload something. I really haven't to because my studies have caught up to me and I really haven't been able to do anything. Really. And I'm I'm editing a video at home now, but it, it's just literally just me like like it's it's a stupid video of me dancing to music but uh, you'll you'll see it when it comes out it's literally it's like 12 seconds long i barely can make it so yeah i'm just trying to upload something for you guys to watch and laugh at hopefully if you guys laugh i don't know um but yeah basically thanks for watching and uh bye